Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we strip the cable back. And now I'm gonna strip the ends of these. Just about a quarter inch back. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now we'll put some pins on the end of these. This is the original Deutsch crimp tool. The beauty of this tool is it allows you to do all of the different sizes. So in this case here, I've got a, this is a size uh, 12 pin. This goes in the receptacle. This is the size 16. This is the one that's generally used on all the machines and the attachments. This is usually uh, power related. Uh, internally in the machine, maybe one of the driver circuits for the control, like ACD control in a Kubota. That's what this one's used for. And you can see the difference in size here. Okay, so this tool, I can use this tool. These cost about $300. I found these ones online and these cost about 30 to $40. So I'm just going to do a couple different ones so you can see the difference or if there is any difference. So here's one here. I actually put it through, you slide it in like so. Push this through and just squeeze this. You can see the crimp. Do another one here. This time with this tool. This is a one size fits all, so it's only for this one tool, only works on size 16, and it's not adjustable. So it is, you get what you get, but it does a nice job as well. And it's a lot cheaper. If you're only going to do 14 pin, this is ideal. If you're doing eight pin, that's also where uh, this bigger, these bigger pins are. So eight pin, which is uh, old Caterpillar AB, ABC series, uh, ASV or Terex. That's the ones that use this size. And then you will need the, there is a bigger version of this tool. It costs a little bit more, but it's still not $300. I'll just finish the rest of these off. This little tool is actually quite easy to use. It's got quite a good crimp. These are all done. Now we're gonna put them into this receptacle. So this is called the receptacle. It actually has male pins. So this is actually known as the, uh, as the male. And then the, and this is the one that's on the machine side. The one that's on the attachment side 
mates to this and that's the female and that has sockets okay so this one connects to the uh, to the female one which is this right here see and they snap and lock together so sockets in here and pins in here here's what the sockets look like Here's what the pins look like. You see, they just fit right together. As I build this, I got I want to put my strain relief together first. See this little rubber thing. So this all fits in here together. These oppose each other because one's got thread and one's got a pass through. We'll put the screws in here. Oops, I screwed it up. Just like that. So I want to do this first so I don't forget, because that's usually what I do. So I slide this over my all my pins here. Push it back to where the rubber is. Now I'm going to work on my actual pinning my socket out. This one's gonna be pinned in standard uh, Bobcat fashion, which is the old Bobcat style, which means B is your, uh, is your ground, then C, D, E, F, G, H are controls, and then the K pin is a constant on power pin. So there's a few different ways that you can install these. Um, one of the first things I like to do is just a little bit of silicone, just spray it inside here, it just makes life easier. Everything to slide through, kind of run it down, dry it off so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, and then we're ready to begin. I like to wear one of these headband lights when I'm working. It just gives me a little bit more light so I can see. And here we go. So we'll take our B. There's a few ways of installing this. I can just try to push them through. Sometimes they'll slide right through and click. Sometimes they don't. You can use a little pair of suits, forceps here. Just give it a little pull just to make sure it's locked. You can push on it and make sure it goes through. Just want to keep lining this up. So I did B. I'm going to do C, which I'm going to use my orange. Push that through. If it doesn't want to quite go through, you can use those same forceps. To kind of line it up and try and have a nice straight push. Push it down into place. Same thing, it didn't quite pop up. There it goes, it clicked. I'll do D. So it's easier always to do the center ones first. So that's the center section. You generally only use uh, B, C, D. Then you're gonna go around the outside rim here and do E, F, G, H. And that one starts up there. So E is white. Just push it down. Again, I can just use my tool here. feeling clicking so they're going in the silicone worked really well so I'm really not having any problem today last one is my K pin K is my power my key power so I always want to make sure I have one of those installed there it is okay, and then all I want to do is I give these a little bit of a wrap push them down inside the connector and put my Strain relief on here. I 
nice and tight. Push this down inside. In case you're wondering, I'm just building myself a little bench tester here for testing all the different circuits that I build up. So I want something that's really easy, compact, that I can just mount on my bench. So, and it's the basis for one of the new products that we have coming out soon. So it's kind of kind of handy. Kind of handy. There's the control for it. So this just allows me to bench test a lot of the different products here harnesses so that's it I've completely put on a uh, Deutsch receptacle onto my box using both this inexpensive little crimp tool that I got online as well as the original Deutsch one that costs excess of $300 now so I'll put a link to this one in the FAQ so you can easily find these also in any of the connectors uh, any of the connector pages, I'll put a link on there so you can buy these. This is quite handy and it worked quite well.